Gentlemen, welcome to UVTV episode four. We are at the 2009 Death Cup Hatchet versus Dive Sack in the four corners of pain. Now we got the ring announcer, fucking on smack, Fatim Jizberg. That's uh, a, a let, 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 let me let me explain something to you about Mr. Jizberg. This is a guy who actually attended the show as a fan, and he just for the love of UVU, he loves the, the death matches. He loves what we're doing. So he decided that he wanted to be an announcer. And when he realized we already had an announcer, he decided to pay us to bump him into the announcing position. And here we are with the lockup. So we came out a good $50 richer, but now we got Dime Sack and Hatchet locking up, pushing towards the barbed wire. They're not waiting at all for this. They're going to, oh, oh, Hatchet pushes out Dime Sack with the brakes to the midsection well, and I, straight to the headlock. Well, I mean, shit, you, I mean, the bullet style headlock, you, you, you got to know that they're not going to jump right into the barbed wire. they got to tease it a little bit for the fans. UBU, Death Cup, 09, Richard, tell me about Hatchet. Hatchet is hitting with a drop toe hold right now. He's having none of that headlock. We into a headlock of his own. Looks like a cripple or cross face. Not a cripple or cross No, he has it because he's not, because he hasn't, he hasn't. There we go, there we go. Watching his tapes, watching his Japanese tapes. Oh, there we go. His kid hitting the fucking cripple or cross face. You know. Dimesack right. Dime is not having any of it. He does not feel like fucking murdering children or, or fucking women. All right, now, Rich, tell me a story. Tell me about Dimesack. Tell me about the comeback trail. Tell me about the leg. Tell me about the injury. Tell what me about motherfucking Russian leg sweep. Side anyway, Russian leg sweep. Side Russian leg sweep. Anyway, Dimesack has been out of action myself. I, you know, I should say. Has been in action since uh, December 15, 2007 at IWS All Out War. This was my big return, and I would love to face nobody other than fucking Hatchet, the man that I have wrestled up and down these entire United States, MIW, IWL, motherfucking JCW, and now in UVULC. Then with the ropes. And, oh, oh, he, wait, guy, oh, what the, Pine? oh, oh Jesus, big fucking hate hakers, Hatchet fucked Pine up whatever Pine. they were trying to go for, so Dime Sack just fucking totally, you know, just reacts with just a punch to the face. When in doubt, punch him in the fucking face. Back so to the Dime Sack with the onslaught goes back to the headbutt. Drops him to the ground. Headlock Let's see over. what that map feels like. Hatchet. He's no. trying really hard not to get in that barbed wire. Hatchet oh. with the leg scissors. Let's go. He's trying very hard to, to, to dodge that barbed wire. Now going for the Tiger Mask jump. Going for the handstand. Hatchet's well aware of this. Been hit with this several times. 
kick to the fucking face. Well, hey, you know, it doesn't matter how many times Hatch had seen it because he just got hit with it. It didn't fucking help him nothing. He could have been steady to taste forever. Uh, at the end of the day, all you know is that you see Dime Sacks fucking buy him his feet. Hatch it. So now he's looking and probably thinking about those mouse traps. That's what he's asking. Okay, by the way. Now it's time to clear some of this garbage fucking out of the ring. So we're going for the mouse traps first. He's taking time building forts. Might as well put no girls allowed because it's just some straightforward build right now. Baggy <laughs> Strutter, Baggy Strutter's fucking slow best, as shit. The best unknown referee in the business, Frankie Studer, ladies and gentlemen. Frankie Strudel. Frankie Strudel. Frankie Strudel. Um, trained by the I, best. You know, I, I'm very, yeah, I'm very, very proud of him that I have not seen his ass crack once. During this match, well, I mean, shit. I mean, you gotta know that. I mean, you probably received a lot of email from the last UVU. One. The last UVU DVD was pretty graphic. Uh, Frankie, Hatchet track. back. But, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, Look yeah, at yeah. Uh, Hatchet just coming back, coming back. You know that if you've ever watched any kind of death match wrestling, you know that the person who sets up the fucking fort usually takes the bump. And not in this, not case. In this fucking case, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Holy that shit! That nice power bomb into the mouse traps. Crackling, he's, a, he's not a mouse, and, he's a man, not a fish. And Rick, you're a explain man. to the fact, explain to the fact what a mouse trap feels like on your back, on your shirtless back. Because I've known, I, I've known you for yes. a long time. I've known you've done it at least one. Tell us about it. Tell us that. that. You know, to tell you about God on the street, I've never taken a bubble mouse. Shut trap. the fuck up, I, why? But let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. I had once given DC a suplex into mouse traps and pretty much took the spot myself. And yes, it feels like you're getting bit by a bunch of crazy clams. That's what it feels like. Metal clams biting you in the fucking crazy testicles. Crazy ultraviolet clams. Ultraviolet now, clams listen. biting you in the testicles. Now, I it would certainly appear that that sack is geared up, getting ready to take a bump. But is no, that going to happen? Wait. That's getting ready. He's not gearing up. His oh, oh no. I told you. The way that the death match is. I'm, I'm not a mind right. reader, but, and I haven't seen this match yet. But I tell you, usually with death matches, goes, I take a bump, you take a bump, I take a bump. Now, catch it. Oh, here we go. Drop One more it. time. B-boy, stop. Hey, I, I just need to ask you, have you been drinking? I've been drinking a lot. And I also noticed that Frankie took half of that bump and didn't even fucking sell it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been drinking a lot. Alright, here we go. Catch it. Hit him, with the back, hit him in the back of the chair. Hit him in the fucking face. I, 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 I doubt whether that Hatchet is taking this match fucking seriously at this point. Yours truly is caught in barbed wire. I cannot move. I'm stuck. My knees are stuck to the wire. Oh, now grinding the, the face. And, and and I also noticed that the ref's not even sitting in the fucking ring, so I question whether or not he is the best ref in SoCal. The, Cutting his here we go. Ripping him to shreds. Let's let's see some blood. Oh, now, God. that sack is getting cut. I mean, shit. Here we go. Oh, sideways chair shot. Those hurt more than regular chair shots, I must say. Not a, that's not the regulation way to swing a chair. Now, spare. what was the comeback trail like? As far as a broken leg, we're talking what a... Oh! Oh, oh my God. Fuck the comeback trail. Oh, that's the shit. end of the trail for Hatchet. Woo! When you get hit with the fucking seat. Okay, but back to my question. The leg. How leg. long did it take to heal the leg? How long was it? What did you do? I am, um, you know, I was actually walking within five weeks, five, four and a half weeks after the initial injury itself. But I had not stepped into a ring for at least ten months. After ten months I got in the ring, I was able to hit the rope, start taking bumps, and it felt good. And this actually happened a year and a half after the, the leg injury, so, you know, I had plenty of time. But now, you know, fuck legs, fuck all that wrestling, it's time for a bar brawl. Hatch it, it's time for a fucking bar brawl. You don't about need to punch each other Ooh. for real. Look at oh, one, two, and oh, just a bit, but listen, listen in. Let's listen in to the brutality. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They're, now they're hitting each other for real. Oh, now I match it with a barrage. Ding, 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 ding. I ding. think you're a winner of the match, or of that bar brawl at least. If the match would have been finished by a bar brawl, Hatchet would have won, but he didn't fucking win. Now he's going to set up another bar brawl. There's lights in the corner. What the fuck are you playing around with the shit that's already broken? Because you're not a fucking use of that asshole. I, 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 don't, I don't know what the fuck that, That's one of the questions that I was asking myself. I say, Hatcher, why did you do the shit that you do sometimes in the ring? And he says, I don't know. I'm a fucking idiot. And, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm so stupid that I'm just going to chop and chop and chop. And I'm a, I just, oh. come on. I mean, come on.